next video is recorded over at Tactical Response for the 2013 Tactical Instructor course. Um, it was a five, five day uh, course. Uh, first day we got down there, we had to give a three minute video in regards to a category they selected, mine was flashlights. So the second day, we had to turn those three minutes into 15 minutes. And it's like uh, the first time I've ever been uh, videotaped. And pretty much you can see like how I was then and I'm just basically putting this out there so people can see like a you know, progression of like what I've learned and everything like that. So uh, enjoy or not enjoy because it's pretty rough, but you'll see. Boxes. Fight. How's it going? My name is uh, Ray Fraga, and today I'm going to be covering flashlights. Um, we'll write some topics up here. Alright, flashlights. The first topic we're going to be covering is basically um, the definition and names where the names are derived from. Second part is actually going to be the parts itself and uh, kind of like add ons. Third part is going to be the sources. Uh, what I'm talking about is like uh, the actual light source itself, energy sources of that nature. Fourth part is going to be like, uh, where will we have them? On what would I uh, put them on? And uh, what I have myself. Last but not, not least. Uh, basically, why I will carry them, the different modes, and uh, how to hold them, and everything like that. All right, so pretty much, uh, a flashlight is going to be a uh, portable, handheld, usually uh, lighted device. Um, from back in the day, the way they derived the name flashlight itself is, um, you know, we had. Uh, uh, a flashlight which had a constant energy source but like the actual uh, light itself was intermittent intermittent so it flashed and everything like that so it came with the name of the flashlight itself. So, um, the, the British they call it a torch that's what you might have heard that name it's uh, where it was like a handheld lantern uh, which was lit by like some form of uh, combustive and everything like that um, so uh, where uh, the different parts are going to be, let's say, it's going to be a little, little uh, reflective area with uh, which holds the actual bulb itself, a lens that encases the reflective area, uh, and the bulb, an actual switch where you can uh, turn it on and off your actual device itself, actual case which is uh, holds uh, everything together and protects everything on the inside and um, you know you could have usually have some batteries on the inside different add-ons pressure switches which you can actually just uh, tap on the button itself flashlight turn on and off uh, some other add-ons the, the actual uh, flashlight Usually made of like uh, some form of like hard aircraft grade aluminum. Would have like uh, some machine slots in it for a better uh, grip itself. And um, sometimes on the bezel, it'll have like some form of like tooth, um, like rim on it. Where basically you can use it as like a, a 
as a coup baton, you know, to attack somebody or anything like that, defend yourself, or to like smash uh, a car window, you know, whenever like you're inside, uh, you know, your car and you're trapped in there, you're trying to get out or anything like that. All right, so pretty much uh, also the next part we're going to talk about is like the light source itself. Um, like what you've seen before, like what somebody would usually have in their house is actually like an incandescent light bulb. Uh, those have kind of been faded out by like a, an LED lighted uh, flashlight, a little more um, durable, lasts longer, and uh, nowadays with, uh, with, you know, with the readability of them and everything like that, the price have gone down, so you can actually uh, afford them. And um, the actual energy sources themselves, um, pretty much went into um, what you would see, your alkaline batteries, your D cells, C cells, A, um, and from there it went on into like your lithium longer life battery and uh, going into um, uh, the rechargeable sense, other, all the other forms of uh, power, you have flashlights you can shake, flashlights you can crank, solar powered, and um, that's pretty much it in that. All right, so now we're going to go into like uh, where, on what, and uh, what do I have myself. Like where would I have them? I would have them on my person and my everyday carry. Uh, easy to, you know, to see whatever I need it is I need to see. Um, where would I use them? Let's say like I'm um, inside my house, power goes out. I could actually look around to see um, you know where the power box is or whatever other piece of equipment that I might need inside the car. Let's say I'm looking for something. I can look in there, see what I need to find. I'm um, walking down a dark alleyway and everything like that, or down the street at night, I hear something behind me. I can turn around to see exactly what that uh, that object might be, whatever uh, hazard might be coming my way. Um, at the same time, um, let's say like if it is a you know an actual threat itself, I can use the actual flashlight to pull my weapon out. To defend myself, I can use the actual flashlight as a weapon itself. Um, hammer strikes, like Coupaton or something like that, a rich hand up against them. Um, I can use it to blind or disorient the person itself, so I can actually uh, actual attack them or otherwise just get out of, out of the area and stuff like that. Um, blind them, pull out a weapon, a knife or something of that nor of that nature. Um, where what would I put them on? Um, of course, my person. We have uh, flashlights from you know the coal mining days that have now been used more into like the military sense. Uh, some tattooers use them. They put them on their helmets or hats or some uh, of that nature. You can have them on um, your actual gear itself, chest rig, plate carrier. Uh, basically, uh, shine out uh, in front of you and everything of that nature. And to like the more tactical sense of like what we're kind of talking about here in regards to like you put it on your actual um, pistol, shotgun, rifle, or otherwise in conjunction of a pistol and handheld um, like use. Uh, what I have myself is I, on my AK-74, I pretty much have um, a Surefire Scout with a, a pressure sensor. Very simple to use, um, fairly cheap, I got it used, so it was kind of a steal. And, um, and other than that, I just have my actual handheld itself. I'm actually borrowing this one from a classmate. Um, all right, and uh, why I would have them on me, as, you, as you've seen, um, some of the scenarios and stuff like that uh, that I explained. Uh, another um, instance is like, you know, like, you know, the, the power went out in your house, you need to find out like, you know, where your family are and everything like that. You hear a noise inside the house, you're actually able to see like, uh, what if there is a threat and um, you might be able to actually scare them off with the light itself. Um, uh, what the different modes are, uh, let's say like you have uh, your regular flashlights which just have like a high power, a low power, a medium power or whatever the sense may be. You go to more complicated like uh, pow um, modes themselves, you can have like a strobe light, disorients a person or anything like that. Um, easy to spot as like a kind of signal sense. Going into signals, we have like a, an SOS version and stuff like that on some flashlights where pretty much uh, like if you're in a, 
on a ship, and uh, basically you can actually use it as a form of like uh, showing, you know, some defense. Uh, I mean, not, not defense. Uh, showing some a uh, sign of uh, uh, you need help and everything like that. All right, and then when it comes to uh, let's say um, you have like your high beacons and low beacons, you just kind of uh, it slowly um, emits a, a flash of light. Let's say you have a, a man down, you could actually turn that on, leave him by the person, you can continue on doing what you need to do, getting around and uh, bringing on the fight. Well, you, if uh, on the way back, you could actually see um, where your camp is, where your person down is, and everything of that nature. All right. So, well, what are what are some good brands for flashlights for some people that might have might not know anything? Surefire. Surefire. Sure Surefire. Sure Streamlight. Streamlight. Okay. Okay. So, where would be some good places to get some information in regards to these flashlights themselves? So that way, like, if somebody has no idea what they're looking for, YouTube. Get off the X. YouTube. Get off the X. On the lines. Get oldest on there. guy you can find at the gun store. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the guy at the gun the store. The oldest guy you can find. Yeah, the oldest guy you can find at gun store. No. Pretty, pretty knowledgeable. I pretty much Obviously. like listen to anything they say. Write it down. With take a picture. Okay. Save for later. Next week. All right. Um, now I'm going to go into uh, some different like um, ways that you can hold on to a flashlight. In a uh, in a sense, when you need to like um, like draw your pistol or anything like that, um, it's, it's some of the ones that, you, that people have seen is like you have the flashlight up, draw your pistol, and you can have it like supporting the hand and everything like that. And you can either see like uh, your sight and everything. You can see the your, what uh, targets you're actually be shooting at. Oh, I'm sorry about that. If I see that on camera. All right, at the same time, another one is. You can have it to the side, your pistol out, and everything like that. Um, what might be some of the, the drawbacks of these actual um, techniques and everything like that? They know right where you are. Exactly. You know, the, your assailant knows right where you stand. Yeah, so what you're saying is like our assailant might know exactly where we are, you might know like where exactly where we're standing and everything of that nature gives away our position. Any more? One of the things I've seen with new shooters. Uh, when you're doing low light is that they tend to assume that their bullet's going to go to the center of the light beam, mm -hmm. not from where the front side is, so you have to keep that in consideration. Okay, what he said is like basically in new shooters, uh, instead of like looking through like uh, the sights to the front side itself onto where the bullet's going to go, they tend to look at like where the flashlight is to see like where, uh, expecting that bullet to go wherever they're pointing the flashlight. Alright, another, uh, another means, uh, oh, actually another drawback to it is like you kind of leave your head open, so um, even though like this is kind of almost along the same lines, you can kind of like block your head at the same time and, and kind of like put the light on your target and pretty much able to like uh, put some rounds downrange onto whatever um, threat it is itself. You can have it out to the side, arm still up, still provides a little bit more uh, you know defense and everything like that. Um, I know myself, uh, like I really learned a lot of. Uh, how to use the flash head, use like basically by uh, some classes here, tactical response, uh, mainly the contractor classes, uh, starting off with uh, with um, small unit tactics. Pretty much on my rifle with uh, night fire and everything like that, was able to locate whatever target, short uh, shot with the light, uh, so I can um, actually see what my target is, so I can actually fire some rounds off. If I didn't see him, or even if I did see him, and after the action for a split second, Turn my light off, bound back, get out of the area, drop down, repeat the same action itself. Um, is there anybody have any questions in regards to, you know, some tactical flashlights or anything of that nature? How bright should it be? How bright would they, uh, should they be? I, I suggest uh, at the minimum higher than 120 lumens. Uh, I was looking online and stuff like that for a while, trying to find out some information on like what flashlight that I want, might want to carry on my on my person. Uh, just some YouTube was like some pretty good uh, means of information. I got a cheap like uh, 47 Creon 2, and I got that information from uh, somebody on there called Nothing Fancy. It was like a 30 minute long video, so it was pretty simple for, for me to make that actual decision itself. I believe that was like 180 lumens for a little small flashlight. It's going to be uh, decent for me for what I'm needing.
there anything else? Or? I love your shirt. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, uh, my name is Ray Fraga. I appreciate you watching my uh, video on uh, tactical flashlights. And uh, you have yourself a great day. Thank you. Bye.